I'm Sarah Fergani with Kent's 5 News Now. A terrifying night for a San Antonio family of four. Their home went up in flames and the father was burned and rushed to the hospital. But his wife and two children, along with their dogs, managed to run out of the home with no injuries. You could see flames shooting from all sides of the house by the time firefighters got to the home on White Deer Lane in far West Bear County around 9.30 last night. Inside, firefighters say there was debris everywhere. They were able to contain the fire to just this one home. Still, the intense heat caused part of the house next door to melt. No word on the extent of the father's burns. A night of fun for some kids playing with toy guns comes to a violent end just east of San Antonio's downtown. Right now, two teens are fighting for their lives in the hospital. Police say around 8 Monday night, five teens were sitting in a car playing with toy guns that shoot water beads. They were on East Commerce in North Swiss Street when a car drove up and someone with a real gun started shooting at them. Two of the kids were shot in the torso. They're now in critical condition. Police are still trying to track down the shooter. It was just not even two weeks ago that a local mom told Kent's Five that she was afraid someone would get hurt playing with toy guns. She heard what she thought was gunfire in her south side neighborhood and called police. She found out from officers that a bunch of teens were playing with airsoft guns or bead blasters. The woman told Kent's Five she was worried the toys would cause someone with a real gun to shoot. She hoped her warning would cause parents to have conversations with their kids about playing with fake guns in public. Seven months after an 88-year-old man disappeared and was later found dead, authorities say they have captured the woman who's been on the run this entire time. Detectives in Bandera County have been searching for Frida Thomas. They're now on the way to Okmulgee, Oklahoma, where Thomas has been captured. Investigators believe she killed Robert Isaacs back in November. Isaacs' daughter says detectives told her the U.S. Marshals followed up on a tip that Thomas had been staying at a home there. They camped outside her home Monday until she came out. Well, I, I hope she's ready to do some time. She'll have time to reflect while she's, you know, locked up. No word yet on when Thomas will be transferred to Texas. A San Antonio middle school teacher has been fired after a video posted on X, formerly Twitter, went viral, alleging she used a racial slur in class. It reportedly happened at Northeast ISD's Bradley Middle School last week. In that social media video, a man claims his niece's sixth grade math teacher said the N-word during a lesson. He said the class had just finished watching the movie Hidden Figures, which highlights three African-American mathematicians who were crucial to NASA's program in the early years. I'm discussing the hiring practices of back then. I told a classroom full of students that they didn't hire N-words, hard E-R, back then. A Northeast ISD spokesperson responded in a statement saying, quote, we appreciate the parent who brought forward this concerning allegation. We do not condone racism and take this allegation very seriously, end quote. NEISD said they fired the teacher on Monday. The family of the man hit and killed on his scooter near South Park Mall says they're devastated as they plan his funeral. Edward Fernandez was riding his scooter off South Zamora Friday night when a driver hit him. His sister says her brother was out running errands and had just picked up his wife's medicine. Life is short and, and you from one day to the next you're gone and you know just slow down a little bit that's all. You know I myself have to practice what I preach. Police say the scooter did not have lights and the driver told them he did not see Fernandez in the dark. Police say no charges are expected to be filed. It broke me down. Those are the words from an aunt mourning the loss of her nephew and now the desecration of his gravesite. And Martinez tells us Larry Alvarez Perez was laid to rest at the Elmendorf Cemetery. Family gathered to remember what would have been Larry's 22nd birthday 10 days ago. But just days later, someone stole the headstone. Martinez says these vandals are hitting her nephew's gravesite on birthdays and death anniversaries. Larry's gravesite has been urinated on. Larry's gravesite has been vandalized by other things that have been put there and have been broken into pieces. And Larry's gravesite has also been shot at. Martinez says they filed a police report. Now they're asking anyone with information about the headstone to please come forward. The 21 victims of the Robb Elementary School shooting are being honored by the South Texas Blood and Tissue Center. As we approach the second year since the tragic shooting, the center has come out with this special shirt remembering the 19 children 
and two teachers killed. Donors can use their donation points to get the shirt, which says United for Uvalde. All proceeds will go toward the Uvalde Strong Fund through the San Antonio Area Foundation to support the survivors, victims, families, and the Uvalde community. Donors can redeem points until the end of the month at southtexasblood.org slash donor store. And for today's forecast, we want to check in with Palmerales. All right, let's take a look. High today, 96. Heat index today, about 100, 304. Make sure and stay hydrated, and it is going to be a warm evening. That's Kins 5 News Now. I'm Sarah Fergani.